It is an idyllic evening. It's the 11th of July, 1991. The night before, vacation two. The summer edition. Camper is ready, as we will soon see. Whoops. And we are ready to leave tomorrow morning. All right, nerdy, there's our new carpet. Just got that put in yesterday. Everything seems to be at the ready. There's a new linoleum. We got that uh, done, too. There's the toaster. Yes, indeed, we look ready. Aha! A little light. Okay, the fridge needs work. Yeah. Communications? Check. And we are ready to go. Tomorrow morning we leave. of electronics we automatically go one day it is now July 12th we are as you see things aren't quite as neat already and we're making our first stop uh, pit stop in Nakam Saskatchewan there's uh, Uncle Shorty checking out the local color we're gonna have a little sandwich here you see what time is it let's document sandwich. this property time is 10 right time 17 she's about uh, a little bit after one uh, Stop here to uh, have a little bite to eat. It's very warm, very nice indeed. And we'll check in with you in a bit. Hi, Shan. Jen, what do you think so far? No, they're not real talkative yet. Uh oh, a woman driver and doing a fine job. Take it. all kinds of things like uh, they've got bales of hay this year and water in the ditches where they used to have to uh, truck hay down here from the north uh, so it's been uh, incredibly wet and it's very very lush well un you wouldn't know that by looking at what we've got here but this is bleak city but we're about uh, maybe 10 miles from the American border and we'll uh, check in when we get to the USA of America we've been across the border for how long We've been across the border now for uh, nine minutes. Approximately nine minutes. <laughs> and, uh, I'll tell you, it was pure nine minutes parchment. Yeah. But uh, what do you have in there? We're in tune to both things. This would be called your local Miller's Genuine Draft at mm -hmm. a temperature of 16 degrees. Now, is there frost on that frost? There, that you as can... you can see down here, going down here. As you can see, it probably going down my okay, throat. Okay, we'll get a close up. Frost. Oh my goodness. What's the temp? It is uh, right here, right now, it is 82 degrees. Very nice indeed. Beautiful evening. Yeah. And the camper is a little uh, worse for wear after a, after a big ride, but uh, not bad. It's, uh, it's hanging in there. Jen, you still, there's Shannon, yeah. No, not bad. We're in plenty wood. Now, we were, we were worried 17 sick. 17 minutes later. The lady at the beer store said, uh, there's sort of a campground, and we didn't know what to expect. Turns out, it's kind of nice. A couple other folks over there, they don't have power, though. They don't know that what we did, we parked beside a telephone pole that has power, and whether we're supposed to use it or not, we're not certain, but... We don't we, care. We got the air on. The kids are inside having fun. We're uh, outside, outside having a cold beer. <laughs> and uh, so how is everything going so far? No, we really don't care. Uh, I'm super. And how's the weather? It couldn't be better. And how about you two? I just want to tell you, uh, when I first talked to you, uh, when we were across the border nine minutes ago, mm -hmm. I'm still on the same beer, and it is getting yeah. warm, so uh, oh. I prefer to, uh, <laughs> uh, whatever, I just want to say. And if you believe that, we got a pair of breeding mules to sell you. <laughs> anyway, this is Plentywood, Montana. This is the campground, and it, uh, it turned out not too bad. Is it a field or a water? You see that sign? It says keep out. You see where Neil is? They're playing catch. They're playing catch over there. There's more people there. <laughs> no, 
I have to come down? <laughs> Don't spill! <laughs> Run down! It's harder coming down than going up. It is, it's awful. You can't get the proper shoes. No. <laughs> Should always bring hiking boots. Is that those, uh... In the wilds of Montana, a place called Weibo, Montana, a little video poker at the Shamrock Club. Here's a town maybe the size of uh, Kinistino, and what we got here is the Shamrock Club, then the Stockman Bar, then the Rainbow Club. Picked up five bucks playing uh, video poker. Nice town. 19 permanent residents. Well, here's some of the good old boys. Well, here's some of are on standby alert. An alternative to the economic summary. Yes, it is. It's a Sunday, and I've experienced hot before in a in a smelter in Thompson, Manitoba, but nothing like this. We're just taking a little stop so everybody can R and R a bit. David got a whip, and uh, Shorty, how hot is it? It's so hot that my whip's not even cracking. Uh oh. Bar and Grill is closed at this because it is Sunday. No, she opens up a new, and this is the KC Bar and Grill, and that's all there is here in Ludlow, South Dakota. Where it gives the word bleak a whole new name. But we're only 20 miles from Buffalo, South Dakota. It's bound to be a lot prettier. Yesterday we stayed in. Uh, where did we stay yesterday? I can't think of the name of that place. It's something that. Malibu? No, uh, Medora. Medora, Medora, yes. And it was nice, uh, nice campground, and it was the home of, um, what was the guy's name? It's the home of Theodore Roosevelt. The Big Teddy. Big you Teddy. know him as Teddy? Uh, it's also the home of the Miller Brewing Company. We made, <laughs> we made sure of that. <laughs> and it was so hot, the stuff just evaporated. It has been a scorch. On the temperature gauge last night, 41 Celsius, 105 uh, Fahrenheit. It was crisp. It was crisp. But we wanted heat, and we got heat. And we're moving on, on to uh, Deadwood, South Dakota. In the next couple of hours, we'll check in there. Bye now. Hey, good night, Jordy. Made it through the wilds of South Dakota. We're now in the mountainous, on the verge of the Black Hills and Spearfish, getting a few groceries. Now, we mentioned earlier that it was hot. Well, you're going to say, how hot is it? So we're going to zoom in on the temperature. I hope we can see this. 105. 100. 105 degrees. degrees. Let's go Celsius. 41 degrees. That is H-O-T. Jordy, does that make you want something? It does, Neil. I think uh, we'll be in in five minutes. We'll have something. Thank okay. You. We'll check in with you later. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm driving with no hands going down the mountain because you kids, no this hands. young fellow is hauling us into Deadwood because the car overheated and it won't run. And it's not a pleasant day because it's 105 degrees. No, he's uh, he's just rounding the. Yeah, I'm very happily at ease. Left one, and then there's a right one. The police have long gone. Oh yeah, but this guy's going slow, and I'm thankful for that. Get your camera out, dude. Driver for bringing us in here from up top of the mountain. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. We just got to cool down now. That you know, probably needs it. We're back on the road. The car's working again. It was 50 bucks for Buford to tow it in, but I made 37.50 at the casino while we were waiting.
without a doubt been the most harrowing day on the face of the earth. We started out in a nice campground this morning, got into a road from hell. It was all through South Dakota that was just awful. Very narrow, very hot, 104 degrees. And there's Nan coming down the road. 104 degrees, 41, uh, there's our neighbors, hello. 41 Celsius, but we made it. Well, I forgot to tell you about the major problem we had with uh, the car overheating and stalled on the highway, which you saw from the footage. And Shorty, it was a miracle, but we made it, didn't we? It was fate that uh, we had that minor problem on the mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a draw in Deadwood. Yeah, that's right. We had to get to towed to Deadwood, so we had to go there. What happened when I threw a quarter into the old slot machine? Well, somehow or other, I don't know. It clicked 120 times, and I don't know what that means. That means 37. That to you was $35 in your pocket. Yeah. I never clicked what meant to me was $50 out of mine. <laughs> so we're square. Anyway, we're square. The kids have just had a swim down at the pool. Uh, we had just finished setting up. Uh... Is it on? Yeah. So you want me to explain what we've been through already? 104 degree heat. The car was stalled in uh, Deadwood, South Dakota. At the, at the gamble a bit to get enough money to pay for the tolls. And it was all to see uh, this stuff here. All right, here we go. We're going to go up the mountain here. We're going to go up in there. You can't see it. where we're going. Here we go. Here we go. All around. We're going to give you the panoramic view. Here. There we go. And here we go. See, and, and we're all alone here. Hardly anybody here. And it's hot. It's 9.30 in the morning and it's already 90. Thank you. Lunchtime, having a little bit of a snack. Beautiful little picnic spot. Pretty enjoying their lunch. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is one of the nicer McDonald's I've uh, come across in yeah. our travels. Yeah, this is South Dakota McDonald's. That's right, and the price is very, very reasonable. Good. How are you, young lady? Just, just fine. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. How are you? Jennifer, you didn't tell me to, what to do with this camera. I might later. You know what you Nice doing. countryside. Look at that. Beautiful hills. Um, we just finished getting out of the Mush Rushmore Caves. That was quite neat. It's up there on top of that mountain somewhere. And it goes way down to the ground. Tuesday night, we're in a place called Spearfish, South Dakota. Women folk are off at the Passion Play. Myself and the, the short one are watching the children. And I'm hoping if I hold this camera here for a while, we might get a light show. We've, we've seen some lightning off in the distance. And some dandies. We'll just sit tight, see if we can uh, see if we can get one here. Oh, of course. Oh, there's a bit, but oh, nice one. There has been some doozies. Um. Hmm. Of course, there's, there's never anything when you want it. We had some, went some dandies, and then I went and got the camera. Anyway, things have been going well. Another hot day today it was a um, just under 100, 99. So it, it's cooled off a lot in the last couple of days, which we're happy for. We're in a nice little campground right now in uh, Spearfish. We're gonna. Whoa! There was a dandy. 
we're going to have our um, second crack at Deadwood tomorrow. We've made sort of a loop. We've gone from um, uh, Deadwood, where we had the car problem, to a place called Hill City, which was a, a, a nice campground, which you saw earlier. Uh, then we saw Mount Brushmore. We did all the heads and things, and uh, went in a place called Keystone. It was very nice. Came back, uh, did Rapid City. The uh, I was going to say the women folk, but everybody had gone about four or five days without a mall, so they needed it real bad. And we found a great big, huge one, a couple hundred stores. Then ended up here in Spearfish, wherever it is. Then we're off to uh, Sheridan, Wyoming, the day after tomorrow. Here I'm starting to talk like I'm already. Well, it looks like we're not going to get much of a show, so that's it for. Well. It is uh, the morning after the big uh, lightning storm. In fact, it's just 7.30. It's already very hot. And where are the kids at 7 in the morning? Kim, what are you doing? Dad, I'll go in the water. 7.30 in the morning. Watch here they are. But it is hot. My goodness. Nice pool. This is, uh, Nan, where are we? And what did you see last night? Good. Nice campground. Watch, Jen. There's the thing to do before breakfast. Quick dip. Now I'm going to head back to the old campsite, which is right here. You know, so it's a, it's a great spot for the kids. Just a short little walk through the bush. And here's the Ponderosa. We're parked there. The Hriers are over there. They got a tent for the kids here. There's tons of room. And then we want to see what the Mr. Boyardee is doing. Chief Cook, now what do you got there? We have, uh, right now we have some uh, fried potatoes with onions and, and uh, bacon inside. Mm -hmm. This will be the appetizer for the main breakfast course, which will be uh, uh, eggs over easy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know your uh, cholesterol diet won't allow it, Neil, but uh, we do have some powdered eggs for you. Good, which good. No problem, which I'll be doing shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, and a batch of salted peanuts for you. Well, very good. Thank you very much. And Shannon, where's your mom? At the shower. At the shower? Oh, okay. As you want to zoom in. Zoom? Zoom shot? Ooh. What chance? Go in and find out what, uh, what Auntie Sheila's doing. What are you doing? House. Housework. It never, never ends. It never ends. You're There's a woman a... and you're doomed for life. <laughs> There's the central vac. I just, well, I didn't need a statement for women's live. I just wanted to say what you're doing. I can't get this clean. What is it? Bag. Oh, okay. How much was We're it? coming into Deadwood, South Dakota for the second time. This time under uh, different circumstances. We're not being towed by Buford's truck. We're driving in under our own steam and uh, we're going to check out the old uh, gambling. Let's yeah, see if we can't make some uh, some more of our toll money back. Historic Main Street in uh, Deadwood, South Dakota, made famous by uh, Wild Bill Hickok. This is where he was shot holding uh, Dead Man's hand. Aces and eights, shorty. <laughs> Aces and eights. Yeah. I hope Aces we, and eights. I hope we don't get him today. Yeah. Well, shot maybe. I'll take the aces. He was at the some Let really neat casinos. Oh. Oh, just full, Neil. Yeah, we're looking. Lined up machines. All of these buildings, every last one of them, are casinos. 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 Everyone, and look more at that. casinos. There's Lucky Wrangler. There's the Gold Strike. Everyone. Look at that. Here's the Last Chance. Yee Peacock Club. Lucky Wrangler. Gold Strike. What? Where did I win my big bucks? We'll find it up here. The Gold Nugget up there. Miss K There's Miss Kitties. That's a good one. Look at them. Just lined up machines. Everyone. Oh my God. And this is where uh, 
uh, Kevin Costner's building a uh, casino here in this empty lot right here. There's saloon number 10. That's the famous one where uh, Wild That's where Bill. we'll be going. We're there's going a, there's a dandy Bill. shot. I want to go to the wax museum. Anyway, this is it, and this is where we're going to sign off because we're going to go now and uh, make... Okay, we've got a whole house going here. Yeah. The famous Devil's Tower. People climb that. Closer look at this tower, which is pretty amazing stuff. Twelve hundred feet straight up. girls were trapped on this plateau. Some bears were attacking them and the tower rose up from out of the ground and higher and higher and higher and the bears kept on scratching away thus causing all the uh, crevasses here. The girls were ultimately saved from the bears but couldn't get down and their spirits live on top of the mountain. Now there's all kinds of people climbing this thing all the time which is really idiotic but they uh, they do do it and it is literally straight up, flat on the top. Quite impressive. Uh, typical Chris, checking things out. More tourists. He's a scout for the Minnesota oh, Twins. Twins. So you, you look like a ball player. Yeah, yeah. You're with the... Uh, the Cornhuskers. You see that or not, I don't know, but that is people climbing this tower, and they have got a ways to go. Not too tightly wrapped. prairie dog colony. There's millions and millions of little prairie doggies. We'll have a closer look. Well, we'll try to get closer. Yeah, look! Hi! Oh. Uh-oh, he's getting nervous. I'm not going to go any closer. Hi! Don't go. Look at prairie doggies are right beside this other thing we just went to, which is right up there. Our last look at Devil's Tower. And we move on to Sheridan, Wyoming, Billings, Montana, and who knows what. Well, they say that necessity is the mother of invention, and when you have to escape the heat, what is it you're doing here, uh, Mr. Chips? We have a uh, direct uh, sun, sunshine at 105 degrees coming from uh, the west. Well, we need and, a... uh, I'm just putting up a little shelter here before we dine this evening. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, this okay. is so constructed out of. Where where are we, by the way? Let's clear this up. We're in a little place in Wyoming called uh, uh, Sheridan, I believe. Sheridan, Wyoming. Uh, okay. Beautiful spot, uh, except they don't sell uh, beer in the uh, grocery store. Yeah, you can't buy beer at the Safeway. Give me a small break. So Mike. we have a slight problem with that. Well, it's, it's. Actually, I care now because I am am becoming a connoisseur of 
American beer. Well, you either got to drink it. Well, we we enforced to drink no, it too. Uh, dehydration is probably the worst thing that could happen. And, Actually, and look at that. Look at Shorty's uh, shade tent. That is uh, that is really top notch. The, you block the rain. Nothing. There we go. Now it's it's cooled right off Very to about 99, 98. We're cooking inside tonight evening in our as we clean up the. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Lasted two hours at most. Five miles away, the rest of Custer's regiment remained under siege. On the morning of June 27th, after the Sioux and Cheyenne had departed, General Terry's column arrived and hastily buried the soldiers where they had fallen. To complete the story of the Battle of the Little Bighorn, we invite you to travel the road to the Reno Benteen defense site, five miles away. command into battle as quickly as possible. He was rash, impetuous, he was a glory hunter, and he got his men killed, and he made this campaign fail. Signed Brigadier General Alfred Terry. That is the second report that came out July the 2nd. That report contradicts every single fact of this campaign. What a change of pace from uh, Custer's battlefield to uh, Shorty's kitchen. We are now in... Uh, in Big Timber, Montana, and for something a little different, a little, uh, what do you describe, sir? I, I Could you describe the meal? I've described this meal tonight as uh, one of the finest German meals on it. It's a uh, umpapa sauerkraut with uh, mm. with your uh, liverwurst uh, sausage. Your, your brackwurst, your knackwurst. Knackwurst, brackwurst. Yeah. On an open fire. Oh, nice campground. With pork and beets. Oh, and some special potatoes. Special blend of uh, Colonel Sanders potatoes. Okay. Huh? Ladies, how was the meal? Incredible. Wonderful. Thank you. And what's the recommended wine for tonight's uh, fair? Uh, it is uh, white Chablis Gallo. Two for uh, ten, two for ten <laughs> dollars. You mean whatever's on sale is the wine <laughs> for tonight. The, hey, the ice costs more than the wine. <laughs> A great campground. It's gorgeous. The pool is out of this world. There's only one little tiny drawback. You see, over here, see that little puppy over there? Wait. Well, you see, that's I-90. <laughs> and right beyond it is um, the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe railroads all come through here. But besides that, everything is uh, pretty darn nice. She's going to be noisy tonight. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you very much. Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. Why, it's the Burlington Northern. I'm sorry. From the uh, wilds of Montana on our way to uh, McLeod. Beautiful, beautiful countryside. If you can see the mountains there, it's the bigger heartlands. We've all heard some good names for uh, bars and whatnot, but how about this one? The Roadkill Cafe. You gotta love it. This is in McLeod, Montana, which consists of a post office and the Roadkill Cafe. There we go. Also, Neil, we want to point over here, the dance tonight. Oh, is there a dance? Yeah, the dance tonight, it's going to be shrimp night, and, oh. uh, and it's going to be the... Who wants this music by... Dean's. Dean's Solid Gold. Okay, we'll be here. That's their equipment. That's their equipment yeah. in their barn. The town of uh, Big Timber. Now, Big Timber's famous for not a... Well, not a, not a whole lot, I guess. It's really small, but... Uh, Let's stay here. Some nice houses, though.
There's a, in particular a hotel, which we'll take a shot of in a little minute, called the Grand Hotel. It is absolutely out of this world. It's a little wee town, and it's just a it's gorgeous, a gorgeous here. hotel. Beautiful. This looks like that cable tangible. We should have music playing in the back. There's a Stetson Ford. Uh, downtown, we find some uh, repair work going on at the Ben Franklin. There's the Grand Hotel. It is really fixed up inside. It is out of this world. It's beautiful. How about Timber Bar here, Neil? Across the street. Oh, Timber Bar, you never did frequent there. Of course, there's a bar at every, every corner. And this is the... A few hundred miles later, and a few turns down the I-90, past Butte and Bozeman, and everywhere in between. We're about 30 miles out of uh, Missoula. Off the I-90, a nice little uh, rest stop. Just having a little bit of lunch. It's about uh, it's it's one-ish. Very nice, nice warm wind, 86 degrees. Absolutely pleasant. Not a scorcher like we had before. Right there, the well, you probably recall. Last night, Charlie, we were in what, a place called Big Timber, Montana, although it was a very, very nice campground. When you look 80 feet away, you found the I-90 with freight liners with a load of lazy boys on their way to Chicago, and uh, beyond that, the Burlington Northern, hauling coal to who knows where. Now we're in Missoula. Okay, hello. The Elmar KOA, which is extremely nice. It looks better than the brochure, and they... Sh uh, they must have seen our plates, Shorty, from Saskatchewan. Yes, because yes, take a look at the Saskatchewan, because I, I really, really... They put us in an ideal ball. spot here, right beside the old llamas and goats. Yes, sir. -y. That one just dropped his guts a minute ago. So we have... Uh, we have achieved petting zoo, which is very, very unique for a campground, I figure. But we won't let it get our goat. But something else unique about this campground is that to keep the grounds clean, what they do, they have some little helpers. Family little squawkers. Well, Dave, what do you figure about those ducks? Pretty neat, eh? You like them? So Kim and David have found a job. Are you guys in charge of ducks? Yeah. All right. Follow the ducks all over. But there's uh, there's uh, there's numerous little flocks of these guys, little families of ducks going all over, eating all the crud off of the ground, and it keeps things very nice. Nice spot. The problem. We've been here how many minutes? We've been here probably probably seven minutes now, I would think. Well. Maybe nine. Uh, uh oh. But uh, no. my dear wife said she would look after the beer, and uh, I guess she's still looking after it. Oh, okay. If there is, only if there is some. We've we never, have this very this. special brand. Special blend? Special that's blend. American. That's strictly American. It's strictly American. What's it called? Should, only Americans should drink it. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> All right. Because it's water. We'll, we'll take her. What do you get for three bucks twenty-four? All right. Hi, Shan. Wendy, um, are you going to keep the horse in there? Let your dog walk in here. But, oh, what can't you have? Dogs. So, can they on the saddle? There you go. There we go. Come on, bud. Now, is that the blind leading the blind? So if you, it's up to you, girl, if you want her to do it, she'll do it. And I want her to do it. Do you want her to do it? Yeah. Okay. okay. That's fine. Do a wheelie, Dave.
That's a pretty mean looking horse. That one's called Woodamaker. <laughs> side of the story, but Hello. she refused to talk to us. Hi, Jen. Well, Sunday I'm night, of course, we can tell that 60 cases, minutes is on. She's got an insurance company to we got cable, you see. And that she prefers yeah, we're kind of roughing it right now. Uh, consultation. But it is black and white. What kind of deals is yeah, yeah, it makes it a little tough, yeah. Companies? Might need a more we're thinking of picking up. She offers for public insurance, a company which uh, said it's having financial problems to terminate 14,000. We're kind of watching 60 minutes with the goats. Yeah, with all the goats, the goat farm across the street. We have company here at the uh, at the ranch. Oh, don't give them too much bread, you guys. This is in Missoula. You can tell by our messy campsite we've been here a while now. We have friends that come over. We told you earlier about the things that clean up. You want a drink? Scotch? Yeah, shorty. Shorty's trying to give him some scotch. Yeah. Have a gander at those. Ooh, tamper. Kim, what have you got? What does it look like you got? Well, have a gander at what she's got. What are you doing with that thing? I should take him back to his home. Just a minute. Where does he live? Oh, is that your Do you want to pet it, Shannon? You can pet it. Yeah, she'll... The, the bird will bite us. Are, are you supposed to be carrying a duck? Or what is it? Okay, you can go take it back. The other one pooped on my shoes. Hi. <laughs> I got one. Hello. Oh no. Kimberly, the ducks will bite you. Look at them down here, Jim. Oh, here's the moms. They're mad. Give some hair. Give some cheerios to them. Oh, shut up. As you can see, we've left uh, Missoula and all the ducks and things that go along with it. Nice campground, by the way. We've moved north about 60 miles to a place called Polson. Now, this is uh, one of the most beautiful golf courses around and completely surrounded by uh, Flathead Lake and the Yacht Club, et cetera, et cetera. I'll get other shots. We'll back up with another green there. And over, more stuff over there, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we just saw it was way over there the other side of that lake. We're now on this side of it. This is called Flathead Lake. Extremely large lake. It goes forever. 28 miles long. It's not unlike the Okanagan, except there's a few more uh, mountains around it. We're Flathead Lake. We're now in the heat again. Nice day, Dave. Where are we? Dallasville, Montana. Dallasville, Montana. Well, so what is it like here? Mm, hot. And you got something new here. What'd you get? A skateboard. New sh no, new shoes. Where did we eat today? Right here. We ate at, uh, what is it? There we go. That's skipper. Uncle Shorty's still in there eating because you see it's, it's Tuesday. All you can eat. Skipper. Hey, Cal, it's a nice little, uh, so so little town, little mall over there. It's not bad. And we're off to uh, Whitefish. Another day of driving, we find ourselves in, uh, where the heck are we? Uh, East Glacier, West Glacier Park. There we go. Uh, we're at a campground that, well, we waited till about four o'clock to try to find one and uh, not a good idea. Turns out this is all right. It's a little more rustic than we've been used to. As I stroll through the forest to our uh, compadres, uh, camping spot, we find them uh, at ease, maybe cooking a little supper. 
Uh, oh, there we go. Hello. Hi, Neil. I have to chronicle this uh, leg of the journey. Where are we? Okay. We're at Miller's Campground. Go away. At Miller's Campground, where? Oh, it is Miller's time. Uh oh. Paul Mazel. Paul Mazel. Oh, there you go. Paul You just missed. Nan, where are we? Look at it. Nan's into the hooch again. You would have to ask Nan. She's the only one that can talk. That's. She. She doesn't. Jack! You missed an exciting moment. You missed what Shannon happened? stamping her feet and screaming. Oh, I find that hard to believe. Where'd you get that ring? Mm. Can I tell you what's on uh, tonight's uh, menu? Okay. Yeah, let's go through the menu. Oh. I thought they were going over there. Okay, let's have a look. First of all, we have, Neil, on this, in this pot, we have the Missoulian corn. Ooh. Very nice. And in this part, we also have Missoulian corn. <laughs> oh, bula bula corn. And over here, we have a barbecue with nothing on it. Uh huh. It's soon to be some special. And I want you to notice, notice you know. It's for the kids. Corn dogs. Mm -hmm. Two for five dollars yeah. corn dogs. So we get a dozen. A dozen for corn dogs. dogs for five bucks. I think right. we've been, been hosed. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much, and we'll check in later. What time is it again? What time is it? Time is now uh, 7 uh, 25. Roger. From high atop the mountains of uh, Montana. Here we are. We're on top. And here we are. So, what have we done uh, today? What have we done today? Where are we? We, uh, we've. Okay, we started in where? In Missoula. Missoula. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know. I just you followed you. So how would I know? How did we do at the casino just a few minutes ago when we ran to pick up? Uh, actually, we were just driving by, and actually, I didn't want to stop because I was at a casino prior to you, and I spent my money, and you weren't even in there. Yeah. So now we get to this campground, and you want to go back and buy some beer because we only got a dozen left, so we need another two dozen for tonight. So we drive back, get the beer, and drive by this place, and you say to me, "Let's go in that in the do drop in." Yeah, do drop in. Yeah, it looked like a do drop in. So we stop in there, we, we get in the casino, we buy one draft each, and we play the casino, and I put in my losses here, I can't tell you, I put in my $15, and nothing, <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I knew he's got more Neil, uh, <laughs> my $3 today, and three and three is six, so uh, I might do it okay. Uh, anyway, so Neil walks in, and, I, and this thing is clicking and clicking, and I said, Neil, what the hell, how many you got there? And he had 40, I think, was it 40? 21.50. 21, yeah, but, but you had 40 clicks? Yeah. How many clicks was that? I don't know. 2150. Big bucks. Then he put in this keno. We're just going to leave. He puts in another quarter and the goddamn thing. He's playing keno now for. And he gets another oh, no. 25 clicks or something. Yeah. Big so, bucks. anyway, so I'm really I'm so, really peed off by now. So I'm going to drive him back and I say, Neil, we're going to make a deal here. So he had to buy the ice to cool yeah. beer. So, but that's not what I was getting at. What were you getting at? What did we see today, uh, city wise? Uh, the city we see? Yeah. Olson. Yeah. Olson. Olson. Oh, Paulson. Oh, that was beautiful. Paulson that has got to be that's beautiful. Head, it's no one of the nicest golf courses we drove in, which you will see yeah. earlier on this tape. Yeah. It is Hurry. one of the nicest golf courses, which I will come back at and yeah. play. Yeah. It is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, quick. get a picture, Shannon. Quick. Hi, Shannon. What did you do? Shannon, did you come here. What did you do, what honey? honey? Over there in the sunset. Looks lonely. Oh, where I talked to you last, but we're now in uh, Great Falls in a nice little campground. It's Dick's RV Park. Oh, 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 oh. Here come supplies. The cavalry. The cavalry walked down to the store. Not Milwaukee's best. That's the cheapest you can get, Jordy. Buck and a half on happy hour. For six. Come on. Yeah. Buck and a half for six. Yeah. Why didn't you get a dozen? And it just oh, ended. no. You haven't tasted it. It just ended. It's pretty good. No, it's good. It's real good. Hey, Jan, how's the water? Nice. You lied. It's 279. Mm -hmm. No, but on happy hour, it's six. Buck and a half. For the next, for the next five minutes. For the next five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so where are we now, and what did we do today? Where were we last night? Oh, last time we talked, we were in uh, 
Columbia Falls. Uh, Columbia Falls, about? which is in East, there, West Yellowstone. That's right. No, here. West uh, Glacier Park. I knew. Where did we play? Where did we play poker today? We played uh, three three games today. Oh, three at the uh, truck stop. And um, where were those cheap hot dogs? It's three for no. Yeah, shorty, three three hot dogs for a uh, walk out and forget to pay. You're at a truck stop. They could have beat you up some guy in a Peterbilt. No, because hung you, a lick it on you. No, all I, all I said was, uh, did my wife get it? Yeah, right. After a long day on the road, we, we thought we had seen it all. Here we are, still in Montana. Now, this is the, the bald, bald prairie. There is nothing, nothing for miles. The closest settlement, major settlement, is Malta. 17 miles away so that gives you an idea of the scope but what these people have done and don't ask me why they put a resort here there's a big barn over there where they have dances and there's a golf course very few people camping here and there's the missus heading down the road to the hot springs and water park out in the middle of nowhere so we're going to go check it out that monstrosity that the bigger you are the faster you come down uh -huh. All right. my bathing suit one side was up here well, who's coming down now? Here comes Dave. Dave got one. Dave's 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 I have never heard of him. I just spoke. Yeah, well, no, because I'm the fast, the heavier you are. Oh. Is that Jennifer now? Well, I think so. Mom, did you see that? Yeah, that's Jennifer. She screams all the way down. the nerve, but uh, Lois and David are now going to come down. The bigger you are, the faster you go, they say. There goes Dave. Here goes the race. And it's neck and neck down the stretch. And, oh, Lois wins it by a hair. Is, um, well, how would you describe where we have found ourselves this day, this final day of our vacation? No, no, be nice now, you're on field. I'm, I'm going to be very nice about this, Neil. We stopped uh, in a little place called Malta, and it had a, a uh, it wasn't a campground, it was just the outskirts of the town, and it was a day picnic. I think we should have stayed there. Actually, this is pretty, pretty nice. If you want to be in an armpit, we're underneath it. <laughs> I, I know how you feel. And the reason you wanted to come, I know, because there is a casino here, which we'll be joining shortly. Yeah, things but, can only look up. But I think, oh, it's I, think grim. I also will have uh, one shot at the water slide myself. So. Okay. Well, good luck. Well, we're trying to figure out why people would ever come here. Of course, we're here. Then we find out this armpit of the earth, as Shorty calls it, that you can't even book a spot here tomorrow because it's full. There's the golf course over there. Somebody even on it. You're kidding. Someone's on the course. Nobody knows why. But we're checking out the, um, what is this called, Shorty? This is a buffalo dance. No, uh, the buffalo bunner. Sleeping buffalo. Okay. What are you keeping there, Shorty? I'm going to keep my, uh, I'm going to keep my spades. I'm going to go for spades. Going for spades. Okay. Going for spades. Going for flushing. Flushing and no dice. Oh, oh, come on. Close. Okay. Here we go. I got a pair of sixes. I'm gonna go. Ooh, it could go black. Yeah. What do you say? Go flush. flush. Go flush. This card. Here we go. Yes. Flush. What's that worth? That's worth. They got uh, seven. Good man. I'm gonna come out a winner. And now it's worth. Come out a winner. You already picked up ten bucks. What's the temp you figure? Beautiful, beautiful uh, sleeping buffalo or squatting buffalo or whatever it was. One reason we find out that this place is marginally famous, see this barn here, that's where Shorty just made his big windfall. It, Robbie Knievel, that would be evil son, jumped this on a motorcycle. There's the scraps from the ramp, he did this the other day. Jumped over the old barn, landed in the golf course on the other side. Not as unbelievable as yeah, the fact right, that we're here yeah. in the middle of nowhere, Dave. It is right. Yeah, right. Look at this. It's just barren wasteland. And there's people camped here. There's more people goofier than us. This is not, it's got golf. Um, 
As my friend Pooh would say, where would you play to be in trouble here? It would be tough to get into the old boy. Here we are in uh, squatting there. buffalo. Yeah, or, <laughs> yeah, what is it? Sitting buffalo? No. Shaking buffalo. And sleeping buffalo. Sleeping buffalo. And we've had to all climb into the uh, the motorhome to get out of the heat. Uh, Lois is even drinking beer. And it's nice and cool in here, so we've escaped uh, the outdoor, the great outdoors. And, and, there, the and I'm going to zoom into the great outdoors. Look out, Dave, or I'll break your thumbs, honey. And there's the, the rental cabins that you can pick up here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is uh, this is someplace. We're staring, we're from the inside looking out. Neil, can I just say something? Yeah. I just want, as you said just earlier, how lucky can we be lucky to be in a place like this? Yeah, there we Original go. lucky. Lucky Shiny to be dog. anywhere. Thank you. Okay, we'll check in with you uh, after the Buffalo Paddock. Okay, Shorty. We're going to uh, recap what happened. Uh, okay, last night, where we left off was we were inside the camper escaping the heat of uh, sleeping buffalo. We had to stay in there because once the heat wasn't a problem anymore, the mosquitoes were worse than any of us had ever, ever seen. And we've made a blood vow that we will never again go back to sleeping buffalo. And the reason the blood vow is because they have all our blood. Actually, I was a little better off than most of you because the mosquitoes don't seem to bother me too much. I mean, even though they could carry me away, yeah. it, it would be something to do with my system. They were hideous. They were absolutely awful, so we'll never go back there again. Anyway, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're in the little town of, um, what are we just, Rock Glen, Saskatchewan. Beautiful country. Just got across the border. The nicest border guard I have ever been in contact with. We just breezed through. Everything's fine. Admitted we had a couple of beer over. And a half a bottle of vodka. And I didn't <laughs> tell him exactly everything, but <laughs> awful darn close. So anyway, there we are. We're uh, on our way to Assiniboia and then uh, northward. Thank you for your support. That's right. It's <laughs> and it's great to be on uh, Canadian soil. Judging by the, the hurricane that we're in, we're in southern Saskatchewan, I'd say around, uh, well, I have, I have no idea where, uh, where'd we be, Jordy? We just stopped for a, a quick rest here. Chamberlain or somewhere like that. We're uh, getting ready to head north. This is a little picnic area of some sort. Why in the middle of nowhere? We don't know. But we're on our way. We're in the uh, in the home street. As familiar sights and sounds uh, greet nine weary travelers after 5,000 kilometers in a couple of weeks. We have uh, arrived home. I say weary. We're tired, yes, but it's a good kind of tired. It's a good kind of tired indeed. And um, what we'll do now as we arrive into uh, Prince Albert after our two-week uh, excursion is hear from the rest of our convoy uh, from the rear. Go ahead. I just want to say what a tremendous trip we had. All the way from uh, Mount Rushmore back to Prince Albert, we saw many things. Just going through, I was just talking about it, Mount Rushmore and, and uh, the uh, Devil's uh, Tower and Custer's Last Stand all the way back to Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. And uh, as my son calls it, our world. We just had a tremendous time and we saw a lot of country. So uh, thank you for the convoy. Uh, that's a big uh, 10 Roger uh, rear and uh, we'll do it again. And this is Doc Hirenall signing off and we'll be back for Vacation 3, the sequel. I'll be back.